In this video, I'll show you how to draw free radical substitution mechanism. I will also attempt to explain about this mechanism. In the free radical substitution, there are three steps. The first step is the initiation step to start the entire chemical reaction. In this step, the free radicals are generated so that the reaction can start. Radicals are generally substances with unpaired electrons. UV light is required for the free radicals to be generated. Without UV light, we will not be able to obtain the free radicals. The CLCR bond will break in a homolytic fashion when UV light is being absorbed. What happens is that one of the CLCL electrons will actually go to one chlorine atom. While the other CLCL bonds electron will have to go to the other chlorine atom. In the mechanism, you need to show how electrons are removed and it is, in this case, Half-headed arrows are being used to represent the flow of one electron. Since there is an equal distribution of the CLCL bonds electrons, this is what we describe as the homolytic fission. In the second step of this mechanism, it is the propagation step. This is when the radical has been sustained and it contains two substeps. The first sub-step would be the chlorine radical to react with the alkane molecule so that an alkyl radical can be produced. This chlorine radical will attack the hydrogen on the CH bond of alkane because it is the least hindered atom. As a result, the CH bond will break in a very homolytical fashion with the electron coming from the CH bond directly. This will therefore allow the hydrogen to be reactive enough to react with the radical to give rise to the hydrogen chloride molecule. Whereas the other electron from the CH bond will be transferred to the carbon afton so that we can produce the alkyl radical, which is also the intermediate. The second sub step will use the intermediate, the alkyl radical, to react with the halogen molecule. In this case, the alkyl radical this time attacks the chlorine atom of the chlorine molecule. And we can see that the chlorine chlorine bond will therefore break homolytically with the electron coming from the chlorine chlorine bond. This transfer of electrons allow the chlorine to react with the radical to give our chloromethane molecule. Whereas the other electron from the chlorine chlor chlorine bond will be transferred to the other chlorine atom so that the radical can be reproduced. In the final step is the termination step. It terminates the radical reaction Hence, radical combine with each other in this step. First thing, we could have two chlorine radical coming together to give back our chlorine molecule. It is also possible to have one chlorine radical and one alkyl radical coming together to give our chloroalkane molecule. Finally, it is also possible to have two alkyl radicals coming together to form a longer alkane molecule. This byproduct is extremely significant because it provides us very good evidence that free radical substitution has taken place. It is the existence of the radical that allows us to produce such a product. These steps actually show us the steps for free radical substitution reaction. This is how you describe its mechanism. 
If you, are do, if you are still not clear, please watch this video again so that you have a better understanding of the basics.